update concerning the building report of the Komatsu Dozer and uh, I'm very proud of that since my last video I really have made some progress and today I would like to share with you the progress again. Right at the front you'll see some technical stuff, um, some valves, um, some servos, um, a pump, hydraulic pump, a tank, but this I will show you a little bit later in the video. What I finally did, and you can see it pretty well, is the final pane is now right on the dozer. And the front blade is also ready. And um, yeah, but I think it's a little bit far away for you, so I will just try to get it a little closer. So here it is. Quite well. I did quite a good job. The paint I'm, I'm really proud of. It worked out very well. The blade, the dark grey that you saw in the last video already, and all the rest of the parts looks pretty neat. Huh? Motor still in there. Uh, so the chassis is ready and waiting for the next parts to be built in. So this is the main part. What else did I do? I worked on this part on the hood. Thanks, Tim. You told me what you call it in, in the USA. So it's the hood. And um, yeah, it, two colors. I used two colors for it. The top is black. Again, these nice screws in there. The front part. It's the white. The Komatsu logo on there now. Lamps built in there. And if we just turn it, you can look underneath. Here you see the loudspeaker right here. It's a 7 out uh, loudspeaker. The plug, oh, where is it? Right here, the plug. Small cables going to the lamps. And everything will be. Um, linked to, to, to the rest of the model via this central plug right here. So, pretty neat. Looks nice. And ready for the final. So, this is the hood. What else did I do? Yeah, the cabin itself. Um, these parts you've seen before. Um, I painted them in, in this nice white and now this is the inner part of the cabin um, with, the, with the seat, um, the sticks and the pedals and so on and uh, really nice detail level. You can see much things on there, many things on there and again a view underneath. This is how it looks underneath. Not spectacular and uh, but really good progress since our last video it's not that easy to 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 hold it right in the in the camera so that you can see all the parts i would like to show you but also here in this case i hope that i will become better so this is the cabin uh, again something this is uh, the inner part of the cabin um, it's grey. Um, I just checked some photos from the, the real thing and I saw that it's uh, most, um, many, many uh, doses, it's just this grey. So I also use the grey. I like it very much. This is the inner part. It comes right this way. You put it, put it on here. That's it. And what I also did is I finalized the roof. The roof is green. It's that um, Martins and Van Art green. Looks pretty well. I've done this pretty well. 
antennas, small antennas, these small lamps at the back and uh, at the front. And underneath is the inner part of the roof, loudspeakers. Okay, they do not work uh, in this small machine, but they look like small um, loudspeakers. And this has to be done. Uh, I didn't do it uh, right now. Two small lamps for for the inner of the cabin, and they will work as well in the, in the near future. So this is the green, and this comes right on the top like this here yeah. and what needs still needs to be done is these windows have to be put with some glue right here and what's still missing are the glasses they will be fixed with glue as well so in the end you will get this picture Quite nice. What I also did uh, on the other side of the cab is I used this fire. Uh, I just found this fire extinguisher in the internet with wheel words on it. Very very nice. And I put some holes in here, and this will be fixed in the end right here hope that I can show you how. Just push it down and then this will be fixed to the window. Isn't this awesome? I love details. So, this is the fire extinguisher. So, last but not least, yeah, the back part. Um, small, nice detail right here now. There is a small shovel. Um, I fix it here, used some paint. Um, by the way, the paint that I used is just for the whole thing, just um, yeah, let's say normal paint you get uh, you get in the internet. And what I used for these small parts, for example, the red that I used in the cabin, um, can you see it right here? Is, is a red from this company, Revell, and I also used for the whole black parts in the cabin, so the whole ca cabin, I painted the whole cabin with it, is also this paint from Revell, and uh, yeah, no, no, no spraying or so at all, I did it quite the, the classic way. So that's it, and now I would like to, to show you these nice technical stuff. On the left-handed side, this is or these these are the valves, three valves to operate the dozer, and, and they are from Scale Art. These are the, the quite brand new valves. Um, they designed for their dozer, the Caterpillar 963D. And as you can see, they are really, really small. So they fit perfectly into that dozer right here. And uh, small Z servos on there, digital servos, high tech, they are from high tech, digital servos with metal gear so that they will last hopefully a long time. Yeah, and this is just the, the thing that is fixed to the chassis, but you will see it in a few seconds how it is mounted uh, mounted to to the dozer. Uh, the other thing is yeah the tank. This is the oil tank where the oil comes in. This is the motor. It's a foul harbor. Right here is the hydraulic pump. It's a pump. It's really not huge. And um, yeah, right here you see these rubber things. Um, they are very flexible. So that you do not have any, do not fear that any vibrations that might occur from the pump will be transmitted to, to the dozer. So this is the, the, the mounting thing. You put it on right here. 
Hopefully I manage it in front of the camera. Yes. Then you put some screws on it, but I will just get you a little closer so that you have a better view on it. So back again. Now I hope that you have a better view on all this technical stuff. So back again to the, the valve block. Um, by the way, it, it's really cool. I just ordered a, a, a double valve block and a single one and the single one is added to the double block and what you can easily do is just add more blocks to it so that in the end you can just have um, additional functions and uh, concerning the dozer I know that later on in, in next year I will have this thing at the end of the dozer um, the back toe hole or how it's called and uh, therefore I need an, an additional valve and this is really easy to, to order, just put it, or just order it, put it on here with two screws and then you have four valves uh, in operation. So this needs to be fixed. I take these nuts, the first one. And the second one. And last but not least, the third one. Oh, it doesn't work. It only can take hours. Now it is. And the last one. Now it's fixed. And what you can can see very good can see very good now is that this is just flexible. This is flexible. So if there's any vibration, it will not be transmitted to the rest of the machine. So this comes in right here. This is the final screw. And now let me see. It should be done this way. Can you see anything? Hopefully now you can see something. And just, isn't this cool? Just with a single screw, the whole unit is now fixed to the dozer. It is still flexible due to these rubber things right here. It is flexible. It fits in perfectly. And this is something I, I really like very much and I've never seen before in any, in any, um, our C model that it fits that perfectly it's really cool so again as always I hope that you liked this video and if you did just let me know by giving me a comment uh, or a thumbs up hope to see you soon and uh, yeah have a good time bye bye